G'day mate, welcome back to another episode of Geometry Dash, building with lemons specifically, how are you doing to- Oh god, I nearly knocked over my microphone. Well anyway, we're doing another episode of Building with Lemons today, we're going to be doing something very very different and very weird. This is actually a video request I got in a comment, and I'll just put it up on the screen now because why not? We're going to be building a 1.0 level, basically we're going to be trying to build a demon with the 1.0 blocks, only 1.0 blocks, stuff like that. It's, I'm not going to be too strict on like stuff like using preview mode, using the song, a custom song, and stuff like that, you know? Uh, but I'm going to be only using 1.0 blocks, it's going to be great. So we're going to completely start a new level here. We're just going to press new, get into it and find us a song, and then start out into it, just go into the gameplay, go into the 1.0 blocks. I think we don't even need gameplay, we just make it with the blocks, and we'll be, we're going to be right, okay? So I'll be back once I've chosen a suitable song for our video. Okay, I'm back and I found a suitable song we're going to be using. It's going to be Catalyzed by Cole Kian. It's a pretty awesome song, actually. I don't know why I haven't heard it before, but it's really nice. So we're going to be using it. So we're just going to get into it. We're just going to start what we're doing. We're going to start out our gameplay. Um, why don't we start it with some spikes? So we've got these blocks here. These are 1.0 blocks here. We can only use 1.0 blocks. We may as well start it with a spike. And we'll move that back a little bit. There we go. We've got our first jump. Cool. That That is some progress right there. One jump. Feels good. So these blocks here are quite nice and we may as well use them because they are very tasty. So we're going to use them for our demon gameplay. So what I'm going to do here to start out with is make us a little kind of face thing, you know? See how he's got eyes and that. So you can kind of see where we're going here. We're making a kind of face and I don't think I can even use these blocks. Like, I don't think I can use like these outline blocks here. Everyone, I made a 1.0 video a while ago and everyone got so mad that when I used them, they were like, oh my god, what are you doing? How dare you use those blocks? What is wrong with you? It was kind of funny actually, but we're doing it properly this time and as you can see it kind of takes a few sacrifices. It's not until you build with all these blocks you've realized how restricted you actually are and it's really crazy like there's so little I can do. I can't use speed changes, I can't use any flip things, it's just ridiculous. It's really, really, really restricting and it's, you know, it's just, it gives you a really nice idea of how hard it was to build back then. Well, I mean, well it was easy but there were no standards were there? So it's actually quite hard to make an actual demon with this because there's no jump rings, there's no jump pads, there's no flip gravity, there's barely anything. So basically the only hard things you can really do are triple spikes, like hard tight jumps, and the rest is kind of all no like pretty easy. There's no speed changes. So see I'm simply doing this. It's just so simple. You can kind of see why no one really made demons back then. It wasn't really a big thing. So it's, it's kind of cool that like it's even difficult to just make a demon. Like, easy levels, not too bad, not too hard, I've done it before. But demons, I'm having a bit of a hard time doing this. So what I'm doing here is like a little fake block. So you think you go up the top, but then you can't. So what we can do here is make like an alternate path. So say we trick the dude into going up here, he's going to be like, oh, we can go up here, and he's going to jump onto there, and then he's going to jump up there, and then he's going to he's gonna run into these spikes. Because <laughs> we're evil buggers, aren't we? When the real path will actually be down here. So you fall all the way down. And you jump over some spikes and it's cool, you know? May as well make the gameplay kind of unique because it's basically the only thing we really can do. So a few more last blocks here for the gameplay, just filling in some stuff. And I'll show you what we've got for our demon gameplay so far. So let's just play through. So it's kind of easy. I mean, there's a triple spike, so it's kind of hard as well. You know, triple spikes are pretty painful, right? And then we get to a flying part here. So we're going to get into the flying and that's going to be where we can make it actually a little difficult, a little harder than you'd expect. So I'm excited for that. Um, we might just do a little more additives for the gameplay here. So a few things like this, just a few extras and then we'll get right into the flying part. So we're going to move on to the decoration now. And I say decoration, it's not really decoration, but it's going to be fine. Like, look at this, we've done our layout. We still need to fill in these things here. Um, but we can do a bit of decoration, right? you know, why not leave it, why, why leave it blank when we can add a little bit of decoration? So how about with the blocks, we do some, a little bit of block detailing, and it's not really detailing, but it's adding a bit of stuff, and yeah, so you have, we're just adding a little bit of variation in the blocks where we can do that. How about we do some up here, some like that, not that you'll really be able to see it, but a bit of block variation is always quite nice. Also what we can do is get some of these and place them on the side too, just to add a little bit of extra stuff, you know, just make it seem like, you know, it's, we want it to be a little bit unique. We don't just want it to be look like Stereo Madness, but kind of different. So we'll place a few of these around and, you know, it's going to be good. I, I think it's going to turn out nice. We'll put one on top of there as well. So there we go. That's a bit of block variation done for you. So we're going to move on to the ground spikes now. Ground spikes, um, pretty simple. Just this one to choose from. And yeah, we're just going to be placing them 
on the ground where the spikes can be needed and I think it will work out quite nice. So let's just place them down, have some fun. You know, this is such a such a good time building. I'm just enjoying myself. Building 1.0 is actually really fun and I'm that's why I was happy to come back to it. It's just good. Give it a go yourself, actually. Go and go and try it yourself. It's fun. So more decoration, and of course there is more decoration we can do. We have these options to do. Put these down here. So we're going to place a few of them around. This one we're going to change to player color two, just so we get a bit of variation in the color. So pink, yellow, and pink for me, and obviously it would be different for you. So we're going to go player two and player one here. Flip that around, and we can also use the smaller ones. I think I'm not entirely sure if these were in 1.0, but I'm going to assume they were. And don't get mad at me if they're not, because you know I I should have done my research. Whatever, should have done more research. <laughs> She'll be right. We can also place some of these little things around here too. So one there, I'm gonna place one there, one there, and just you know just place them anywhere. I like placing them all around the place. Having a good old time just placing some of these, and I'll show you what we've got so far. I'll do a little run through. And I'm actually quite happy with it. Look at this. So we've just got a simple 1.0 styled demon. And we've got a fake path up the top there. And a kind of a hard jump there just to make it kind of a demon. Okay, the flying part should be easy. We can make some actual hard gameplay now. Flying is something that does require a little more skill than the cube. So we can do some cool stuff. So you better be ready for this, guys. You better be ready for this intense flying experience. So I had a cool idea for the flying part. And it basically will go like this. So two spikes here with a one gap. And now we'll make a little pillar wherever these things are. So we'll make a pillar there. Do the same for the top. And place it down there. So there. And then we'll do this. We'll move it up one step each time. So it goes up in a little angled pattern. So we're going to place that over here in the middle. So as you can see, we've just made a nice little difficult angled flying section. In about five seconds. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is basically making a little pathway that gets tighter and then opens out again like this. I think that could look pretty awesome. And why don't we use some of these blocks here kind of as the header blocks so we we'll place them here and then what we'll do is connect them all like this so we'll do this this could look actually quite nice you know I think we want to make something unique here and I think this could kind of cut it not really but it's okay there we go look at that so we've made a bit of a flying part here and as you can see it's kind of simple we'll see if we can beat it first try it's actually quite difficult from what I can see here it doesn't look too easy and I think it could work. Let's, let's see. Oh, it is quite hard, eh? <laughs> so you got to get this angled straight fly here, which um, is not too bad, to be honest. And then you've got that little part there, and I think it's coming along quite nicely. So I'm going to get on with my work, and I'll be back once I've done a little bit more. And just, just you know, just sit back and relax. I'll be back in a second. All right, that's all the structure done for the flying part. Now we're going to move on to the ground decoration and just air decoration for this part. So it's simple and as always, just like this before, one option. We got this and we're just going to place it along the ground. I mean, pretty self-explanatory, but still looks quite nice. So I'm going to place them down and then I'm going to, yeah. So that's the spikes down. We're going to add a few little extra decorations too. So how about some of these? We're going to get some of these blocks. Um, why don't we put some of these little, you know, these big things, these big little poles. So big poles down here. We're going to place a few of them around. They're not really gameplay items. They're more of just like decoration things. And they're just going to go around in these places here, just complementing some of the design. And I think that could look pretty nice. So I'm happy, I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, that's basically it for decoration here. We've still got to add the ground decoration, which is these things. And... Basically, that will be it for this part and basically the whole thing. We're going to do colors after, so stay tuned. We're going to get into the colors after I've finished placing down the little spiky things on the ground. You know, like these little spiky things. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Don't look at me like I'm weird or something. Here's a little issue that I'm going to address right now. A big common issue that I see in a lot of levels and it's not filling in the gaps. So here, this may not be on the screen, this big gap here. But in the level, you might see like a flash of it. And I, I don't see enough people filling in the gaps. So we're going to be filling in the gaps. And I advise you to always do this with your levels. So even if you're not going to see it in the flying part, when during the transition, you might see a bit of it. I advise you to fill in your gaps. Just make it look seamless. Make it look like nothing's going to go wrong. You know, just do that. I strongly recommend it. Righto, we're going to get into colors now. And colors are one of the more fun aspects of a level, I actually find. So we're going to actually choose our own color just like that. So... There we go, we have a pulse, and we're going to do the same for the ground, and it will be nice and simple. And of course, we'll change the color every time we do a pulse. I think we're going to actually do that. Yeah, we're going to change the color every time we pulse. We're going to start out with the gray. I've changed my mind. We're starting out with gray. So, gray, 
grey, orange, and as so on and so forth, we're going to go every different colour of the rainbow. It's going to be great, honestly. Just watch and see. You, you'll see. Now, I think we're going to go purple. Yeah, purple is a nice colour. Purple is actually my favourite colour. As I've probably said in a few videos before, I love purple. It's just such a nice colour. <laughs> now we do a big copy-paste of all our different colours and makes it nice and easy for us. Copy-paste is actually recommended. <laughs> Did you know, though, by the way, that Robtop made... I think the first 10 levels or so in the game without the copy paste button. Um, he said it somewhere, I can't remember where he said it, but that is a fun fact for you. He made quite a few of the main levels without the copy paste button. I mean, can you imagine that? How painful would that have been? So I think we're actually done. We've done quite a few things. We've done a bit of fun stuff. There's a few more things we can do to add a bit of detail, but we're basically done. I'm just going to go through a few more extra things and that looks so bad. <laughs> Create some funky little structures with this. Um, let's just fly it up there. There we go, some random little structures that I think we can just add like this. Yeah, there we go, that is it done. We're actually finished. We just built part of a demon in a 1.0 style. I might actually make this a full level just for the fun of it. It's actually really fun and really easy to do. So I'm gonna play it just to show you guys what we're up against and what we've made in about 20 minutes. So here it is, the final product, I'm actually really happy with it. If I could get far, it would be nice, but I'm actually so damn happy with this. It's quite fun to play, and it looks, you know, it just looks cool. I'm quite happy. So into the hard flying part, oh, we did that part. Come on through there, there we go. Oh, 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 oh there we go, that is the way we do it. That was a 1.0 level, 1.0 demon, all made with 1.0 blocks. So I've decided I'm actually going to turn this into a full level just for the sake of it. It's kind of, it's just a fun little thing I should be doing. I'm not going to upload it, but I'm going to make it just for the sake of it. I might upload it on YouTube, but yeah, I enjoyed it. I strongly recommend you go try this out. It's a lot of fun. It's just a blast to the past and it's just so good. I recommend going and trying it, making your own 1.0 level or in any kind of update you want. Make a 1.3 level if you want. Who cares? Just do anything you like. This old nostalgic building is quite fun, and I do recommend it. So that will be it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm actually really proud of how the video turned out and the level. I'm happy with this. I hope you will like it, and I hope you did like it, actually. You just watched it. Well, I assume you just watched it. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a good one. See you later. Uh, peace.